Hi, and thanks for your interest in the Wellington Wheelers West Buckland Hill Climb, which this year will be on the 4th of November uh, 2018. So this is the map of the course, and you can see that the start is where the road crosses the M5 motorway bridge. The check-in is at West Buckland Village Hall, which is further up the road here in the village, and it'll open uh, between 8 and 8.30. I'll post the time exactly later on, but it will close at 9.45, uh, and that's strict. If you try to register after that time, you won't be able to, because the first rider is off at 10 o'clock. The start, as I said, is on the motorway bridge, and it takes a few minutes to get from the hall to the bridge, so give yourself plenty of time. Uh, you'll be asked to wait in a marshalling area, which will be just around here. I'll show you a picture of that in a moment. And you'll get pushed off from the middle of the bridge. And all you've got to do is ride like a demon following this course. At all points where there's turnings or sharp corners, you'll see marshals indicating where you've got to go. And this is the steep part of the course. And when you get to here, roughly, you will have finished. At this point, don't ever be tempted to turn around because we have a strict one-way system. If you try to descend the way that you've uh, ascended, then you will be disqualified from the course. It's too narrow, the road's still open to traffic, and there's just too many hazards. So you will, once you've got your breath back, uh, be indicated to carry on in the direction you were going, uh, and then you'll join the ridge road along the Blackdowns, and marshals will guide you back down until you get to the top of Ford Street, Fourth Street's a very nice hill, um, but you will need to be careful because you have to turn right here and then follow these quiet country lanes all the way back until you rejoin the course here at Budgets Cross. At this point, you turn left and follow your way back to West Buckland Village Hall, where you eat as much food and drink, as much tea as you possibly can, and wait for your results. So here's the marshalling area. This will be marked with cones and this is the point from which you'll hear people calling your number uh, to come forward onto the bridge and on the bridge this is the start uh, there's no red line but there are a gang of people waiting to get you started off and again this will be marked with cones once you've started uh, about a quarter of a mile down the road, this is the first decision you've got to make, which is to just stay on the road and follow it round to the right. There will be marshals there pointing you in the right direction. The next decision is when you get to Budgets Cross. And as you remember from the first slide, this is the point at which you'll return onto the course after having descended down Ford Street Hill onto uh, the return homeward course. So you can follow the directions of marshals. And again, you'll just follow the road. And gradually the road narrows until you get to this point where it turns sharply to the left and again two marshals there will be looking out for traffic coming the other way at this point the hill gets steep uh, you'll fight your way up to the top and when you see this corner again with two marshals on it you'll know that you're nearly there the road flattens out after this point a uh, really important direction for you and marshals will be looking out for this is that you stay on this side of the road and that you do not cut the corner. As I've said, the road is open and you will potentially meet traffic coming down the other way. Once you get to this point, this is the junction with the Ridge Road at the top of the Blackdowns, you will have finished. You'll have gone past the checker board and you'll have seen the, the little group of timekeepers there. At the end of this road, there will be a marshal who will stop you if needs be and will direct you once the traffic has gone to turn right at this point. You'll then carry along the ridge road uh, to, uh, for probably about another half a mile until again you'll see a marshal here. The marshal will again monitor the traffic and will indicate to you when it's safe to turn right. Uh, at this point, you'll, go, you'll enter onto the top of Ford Street Hill, which is a steep hill with a really good road surface. And the temptation is to go down this as fast as you possibly can. However, you need to turn right before you get to the bottom, before you get into Ford Street. So you'll need to exercise extreme caution, not only when you're turning right here, but when you turn right further down the hill. And we do urge you to follow the directions of marshals. This is the point Again, before you get into Ford Street, where you'll see marshals on the road looking out for traffic coming up the hill and looking out for you coming down, because they'll indicate that you need to turn right at this point. 
Roads are much quieter after this. And this is about the only decision you have to make is to not go up there, but follow the road round to the left and the signposts will point you towards West Buckland. Again, you have to turn right and it'll be marshalled. If you carry on down this road, you'll end up on the motorway roundabout, which will be no fun at all. So turn right here. And this brings you back to Budget Cross. And at this point, you're pretty much at the end of the course. You'll turn left and go back to Race HQ. Uh, you'll recognise that you've been here before and you're only five minutes away from Bacon Buddies and Much Tea. And we hope you'll have enjoyed the race and uh, we'll be looking forward to your results. Thanks very much.